That was really good. I have to work tomorrow. Early. Just did what we came here to do, yeah? You're like a guy. Worse than a guy. You're like a frat guy. You said you could live here. I wasn't expecting the pussy brain. One foot in crazy and the other on a banana peel. Practically begged me to just be a cool Aunt Theo. What? But when I was scared, I would imagine myself building a big wall all around me. The care system isn't the easiest place to grow up. This whole house is cold. Sick guys. Focus on living my actual life right now. Hello? Oh, your little brother was getting into trouble. I'm like, oh, She's scared. You're a crazy kid. You know that? Bridesmaids? You answer the question that's asked. Don't elaborate. Don't offer information that's not requested. Just tell them that, that their feelings are correct and they're safe. And it's okay to be curious. I don't want to have to tell them that I fucking pissed at Auntie Nell, who should have known better, better than most. Does to her family. She fucking knew better. She did it anyway. I can't trust her. to get my fucking PhD. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I found out that a nine-year-old that I was treating was getting molested by her foster parents. She buried it so deep she had to make up a monster just to compartmentalize and cope. And she did such a good job that she planted him right in my head. She just needed help and no one was listening. And it's so much like now. <laughs> You said you hey, hey, the fuck, Nelly! Anything? She says no. All right, I am feeling serious fucking concern. Well, he's not exactly impressing me, and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I came out here to see my sister. I thought we would go to a museum. I thought we would go to the beach. I thought we might get drunk and fucking cry. But I didn't think I would be treated like a goddamn. I'm sorry. sorry. At least they always say that they look like they're sleeping. She doesn't look like she's sleeping. She looks dead. This is Kevin's coping mechanism. He turns into a waiter. You got that from your mother, you know. Alcoholism? And you don't know what I feel. 
and I am allowed to process that any way that I want to. You don't just stand there and dictate how we all grieve our dead. Fuck! Okay. I'm fine. The moment God, don't touch me. <laughs> Better now, right? Doesn't he? I guess so. You on the other hand. Thanks, Dad. I fucked up last night, Daddy. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I should have made more of an effort with you. Are you fucking kidding me? What are you doing here? I saw the open and I wanted to be here. You thought you'd what? Exactly. Fuck my day. He's a twin. They all still have. He may not be planning to come up. Ice people out. You always. I ice people out? Uh, have you met yourself? So I chose to live there to help try and keep you. You fucking suck at apologies. This stuff's sort of living against us. I'm not some bohemian weirdo. I'm an adult. I am a fucking doctor. All of us are just always helping you keep up this idea in your head that you're perfect Shirley and we're just a bunch of fuck-ups fucking up perfect Shirley's perfect fucking life. No! no! You do not just get to shove me out of you! I need to hear your excuses. I'm not making your excuses. Bullshit. I saw my... <laughs> You want to know why I did it? I touched now because I had to know. You know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend that you don't. You know what happens when I touch people. A part of you knows it always has. I touched her. And I felt... Nothing. Just nothing. And it spread, it spread everywhere in me, this nothing, until I couldn't feel anything anymore. I was just this dark, empty, black hole. So fucking scared that I was going to lose the only sister that I had left. Dad! Shirley! Sorry, our last words were in anger.